Well, hello friends. Welcome back to the car. It's a uh, bright and sunny and kind of warm day here in Sweden, which is really nice. And I uh, thought we could do a video talking about some stuff that's been going on recently. Um, the first thing I want to mention is that I did an interview with Jonathan Turner over on his YouTube channel, Systems with JT, and I'll put a link to that interview in the video description. Um, Jonathan and I talked about um, my background, career, programming history, uh, and of course the Serenity operating system, and uh, tons of other stuff. And it was really fun and easy to talk to him, so we ended up um, going for like two hours. <laughs> it was a really long interview, but it was really, really... I thought it turned out really good, and uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely recommend checking that out. And of course, subscribing to uh, Systems with JT. Um, but uh, one of the things that came up in the interview was the sort of the question of how do we scale the Serenity project into the future? And um, that has actually become kind of a pressing issue over the last couple of weeks um, since we started a Discord server for the project because when we did that, uh, we saw a sudden gigantic explosion of uh, interest in the project and tons of new people um, joining in the programming fun. Uh, and that's been absolutely great. The server is now about two weeks old and we're over uh, 1,200 members, which is almost 10 times as many as uh, we would normally have on IRC. Uh, so it's been quite an adjustment um, and a little bit stressful, I have to admit. Uh, I could feel my um, my blood pressure taking up for a while there, um, but it's gotten a lot better. And um, one of the things that uh, happened with this, of course, is that with so many new people and all of this uh, collaborative energy and um, uh, and people doing stuff together on Discord, uh, this has produced a lot of new pull requests that needed to be managed. And uh, historically, it's been me merging all the pull requests um, because I've been the only person with right access to uh, the repository. But uh, it finally got to this point where I just couldn't keep up with it anymore because um, for a while there, every day I would go to bed uh, and when I would wake up, the, there would be like 10, 15 new pull requests in the queue and I couldn't, couldn't like process them fast enough anymore. Um, so, uh, I've, uh, recruited, uh, Linus Gro, who is, uh, the, um, the first, uh, first person other than myself to get, uh, right access to the repository. And, um, I've sort of promoted him to, uh, a Serenity OS reviewer. And I, I don't know what to call it really, but reviewer is what we call it in WebKit. So that's what I went with. And um, Linus has been doing a fantastic job helping me process the, all the pull requests and giving feedback on stuff. And um, it's actually uh, manageable again. <laughs> and uh, I, was, I was even able to like uh, take almost a whole day off from, from reviewing changes. And it was really relaxing. Um, so super, uh, big thanks to Linus for, for helping out with this. And um, it, was, it was really weird. Like there, there are so many things that I think about this whole thing. Like it, it felt really strange for me to um, finally get to the point where I would be comfortable sharing the um, responsibility with somebody else. But I've uh, come to trust Linus over the last year. So um, I'm happy to have him on board. And uh, I think um, what we're doing now is sort of um, a trial run or like we're exploring um, what we need to do in the future, because obviously if one person doesn't scale, two people are not going to scale either. Uh, so we're going to need to uh, eventually add more people. But I think um, there are a lot of things to figure out and um, we're starting, starting with this and then we will expand it going forward somehow. Um, but yeah, that's been, that's been really exciting. And, uh, and, uh, really it was only because I was talking about this to, um, to Jonathan in the interview 
I was sort of processing in real time uh, when he was when the, when I was being asked about this. I was forced to think about it, and I, it made me realize that, oh shit, like I'm not going to be able to handle this. <laughs> so I basically um, basically made the, all those decisions like right after ending that interview. That like, okay, well, I have to do something about this now. Um, so that was good. Um, and it's interesting with stuff like that because I notice about myself that that I have a hard time processing things unless they are like front and center. So it would probably have taken me a, a bit longer to get to this point if I hadn't been forced to confront the issue in this conversation. So I'm really grateful to, um, to Jonathan for, for giving me the opportunity to, to face that concern. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's, that's been really cool. And uh, now the um, pull request queue is, and we're sort of handling it and we've uh, done some other mitigations to it as well. So we've added a uh, stale bot, which will mark uh, pull requests as stale if they don't have any activity for three weeks. And uh, if another week passes with no activity, then they will be auto closed. Um, that's just a way to sort of prune uh, pull requests that have been more or less abandoned. And um, I know that in, in some projects, three weeks might not seem like a long time, but in Serenity, three weeks is virtually a guarantee that you're uh, going to be in in deep merge conflict water because stuff moves so fast. Um, and um, we've also added some more linting checks and stuff so that the uh, the CI system will now um, tell people if their like commit messages are badly formatted and stuff like that. Because um, one thing that we really noticed uh, as the pull requests were streaming in at a high rate is that there's a lot of this pointless um, pointless churn where like somebody puts up a pull request and then uh, somebody looks at it and then notices that like, okay, you have all these spelling mistakes and you haven't formatted your commit messages properly and blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's much better if you can have a bot do all that stuff so that you don't have to um, like wait for another human to give you that feedback. I think so I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, and, uh, on a personal note, one thing that I did was, um, actually created a filter, an e email filter for the first time for my serenity email. So until now they've all been going into my inbox, but, uh, it became completely unmanageable because I would get more, more than a hundred notifications a day just from GitHub. And I couldn't, uh, I couldn't see my other email <laughs> anymore. So, um, so now I, I have a, a filter. Probably everybody else had a filter already, and I was the only person who didn't. But uh, now I have one too. So that's been really cool as well. And now I have to actually remember to go and look at the things. Um, but. Um, I'm, I'm trying to draw on my experience from, from Qt and WebKit and, and other large projects um, when choosing what to do with Serenity here. And one of the things uh, in WebKit especially was that um, if you had a patch that you wanted to get into WebKit, uh, you couldn't just like dump it in the review queue and then hope that people would take ownership of it from there or like that it somehow would magically get itself into the tree, but instead you had to, um, you know, work, work to get your patch in basically, um, whether that meant making it more reviewable, splitting it into uh, smaller pieces or finding a reviewer and working with them and, and like having an interaction and, and getting that person to care about your patch and, and help you get it in. And, uh, my friend auntie would refer to it as, uh, patch marketing, <laughs> like that you had to do marketing for your patch sometimes to convince somebody to care about it. And I think, uh, I think that's kind of starting to become more of a necessity in Serenity as well, that um, you can't really just dump a huge patch in the um, pull request queue anymore. Like you have to actually talk to people uh, and get them to 
to boost your uh, PR basically um, by helping review it and helping argue for it and stuff. But I don't know, like a lot of this stuff is happening organically and um, I'm, I'm doing my best to um, steer things in a way that, that seems the most constructive to me. Uh, but it is, it has been stressful. Um, I have to admit that I've been feeling quite stressed um, in, in the last two weeks. And I've had uh, serious trouble being productive myself as a result, like um, programming wise, um, really hard, hard time um, writing code lately because it's just been so much to think about. But I think uh, it's just an, a temporary adjustment period, like um, I'll, I'll get back to it. But um, I, I do want to mention that, that I do feel like uh, it is, it, it is something I notice. And uh, if you follow this channel, then you know that I'm all about um, telling the truth and, and saying how I really feel, right? So I, I have been feeling stressed and I'm really, really happy with all the activity, all the excitement. Uh, I just need to find ways to um, process all of it, right? Uh, because things like a way of working that was fine when there were 10 of us or 50 of us or 100 of us, that way of working does not scale to now that there's over a thousand of us. Um, so that's something I'm working on actively. But uh, I got some got some very interesting um, things in the pipeline in that area. So uh, hopefully things should improve. Anyways, um, really, really a lot of fun stuff happening lately. A lot of good stuff and um, super shout outs and thanks to everybody who's been helping with reviewing each other's code and helping people uh, improve their uh, patches and stuff um, because just because there's me and Linus merging the patches doesn't mean that everybody can't participate in code review. I s so appreciate when people review code for one another and it's so much easier to do the final merging touch on something that other people have already looked at. So um, that's just monumentally appreciated. So thank you everybody for that. Um, and yeah, I guess I guess that's kind of the, the mind dump for what's been going on lately. Um, so yeah, I ran out, <laughs> I ran out of things to say. I hope everybody's doing all right um, out there. It's uh, It's been so chaotic that I haven't been even thinking about making um, programming videos or even much code of my own. So that's something I'm eager to get back to. I just need to get in the right headspace. Um, so an another thing, by the way, that has been really nice lately is that there has been a large uptick in supporters, uh, people who support me on Patreon and GitHub sponsors and through PayPal, uh, and people who, who get the Serenity merch from the merch store. Uh, I really appreciate all the support. That's, um, that's been super cool to see. And uh, I guess I want to say uh, one more time, thank you everybody for, for believing in, in me and this uh, curious project. I um, I know I'm, I'm just a person, uh, but I am trying my best and I will continue to try my best. Um, and we'll see how, f how far, how fast and how tall we can build this thing, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, that's it for today. So thank you very much for hanging out with me in the car and I will see you next time. Bye.